All right, we'll call the meeting to order at six o'clock. And first on the agenda is to approve the agenda. Does anybody have anything that they want to add? Is there anything extra to put on there, Therese? No. Okay, just Not need a I'm motion aware. to approve the agenda. All in favor? Aye. Okay. And then our only appointment is Brian Wright um, in discussion of the Wright Road and Gilead Road. Or just Gilead. Just Gilead. So we got 15 minutes for you. Um, so just take us through what, what you're well, looking for. And mm -hmm. We talked about it. It's been swept under the rug for a year now, over a year. Um, and I know that Therese instructed you she didn't want you to make a decision tonight, but I want you to make a decision tonight when we go. Um, and I'm disputing the decision you made last fall because you guys are supposed to be looking out for the interests of the people, the public, and the inhabitants of the town. And you, when you made the decision, it was for the benefit of one person, that was my brother. <clears throat> so I think that's, I think that rule was broken there. Number two rule I think was broken. I went up with a hand shovel and a hole, and I put two water bars in, and uh, it, it took care of three quarters of the water. It, I was wrong because I didn't get permission from the town, but if you go through Vermont stat state statutes, highway state statutes, I did everything right to try to get the water off the road as quickly as possible and not let it run down the middle of the road. You made the decision to go up Instead of uh, finding an alternate route for that water to run away from the road, you went up and ordered the water bars filled in, and that made the water run down the road. And there's a statute against that. Did you know there's a statute against that, breaking the law? Did you know that one? Uh, on Title 19, talks about diversion of it water. It is illegal to purposely highway. obstruct a ditch culvert or drainage course that um, drains a highway. So you people broke the law that you're supposed to... That you're I'm not sure if that up. applies to us or to or to others, since the town has the right to oversee. But what's the statute? I don't have the number. I can get. Oh, okay. It to you. I fine. just had the copy of this, just that one little, what, yep. that one little part there. Yeah. Um, and that, uh, I can get it for you. Oh, right here, Title 19, Chapter 011. It's under Protection of Highways. That's illegal for anybody to purposely direct the water down the... Right. I remember okay. when those water bars went nope. in. What's that? I said, I remember when those water bars went in. And you know something? Those two little tiny water bars saved three quarters of that water. I know, in. but you put them in illegally. That's and right. You, and I you diverted you the water onto somebody else's that. land. I told you that. And you which filled is them illegal. In. You filled them in. You didn't find an alternate. That's room. why we filled We're them in. We're not here to argue about it. Just, uh, you well, it sounded like you came them. pretty argumentative tonight because you've started off no, accusing the board twice already yeah, of okay, things that we didn't do. So okay. I, I'm just we, telling we can you have a civil discussion I'm, or okay, we'll be prepared my, to defend ourselves. I'm telling you my opinion. My opinion. Rule number three you broke was um, you put the person that had the most to gain from the decision you made in charge of, uh, of uh, maintenance on a class three road. How, how do you do that? That's not even in the statutes anywhere. How can you put somebody in charge that has the most to gain? You know what I'm saying with the water bars? Uh, the town gave my brother permission to uh, maintain a water bar that, that protects a class three road. How, how do you just give somebody off the street the right to do that? So I'm asking for a decision. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm not asking for the, it's a class three road. Um, I'm not asking for a lot, but I want that piece fixed up past where I, my right of way takes off, the class three road that I use where my right of way takes off. And I want you either, I want a dish, culvert, or water bars, whatever, up to the height of the land so that water does not run down the middle of the road. So just, I want to be clear just so I understand. So past, is that Andrew's house or Joel's house? But past Andrew. Andrew's house, past, then it turns. So I know exactly where your right of way is. Yeah. So where it enters. So are you saying you want it from there to your right of way or the height of the land after your right of way? I want it fixed. It's class three, so I should say, but I want it, it should be fixed up the whole way. But what I'm asking is fix it up a ways past my, uh, from my right of way. Where the height up. comes up. Yeah, and there used to be a water bar there that used to go down in the field for years and years and years. And it's, it's 
there anymore. Right, I and, just want and to also and also do whatever work you've got to do to stop that water from running down from the height of the from the height of the land down down the middle of the road. I know that when we had the class four um, committee meeting up there, it Carl did say that I didn't. Put, I put one of them was in the byway that that was in a in a bad spot, but it was where I, the only place I could do it with a hand shovel in a in a hole. But there's strategic spots down through there where you could put in water bars and direct the water off and, and it would be going into like a, a area of woods before it even uh, went into field and if it's i mean it's not steep it's, it's not perfectly level but there's not much of a grade to it so the water is going to dissipate i just got to get the water off that road you can't you can't uh you can't allow water to run down a, a town road, whether it's class three or class four. Class four, I, uh, I found out that the, the town is responsible for drainage on class four road. Did you know that? Yeah, the statutes are clear on what the town has to do. What's that? The statutes are clear on what the town has to do. And class four highways, it depends on the, you know, the statute says on public good, and there's a whole, you know, section there, but obviously you, you have that, so. Well, I, I found this. Let me find it. I got it. Bear with me here. And the town has the right to install culverts across and water bars, direct water anywhere they want across anybody's land that they need to. The you got it here somewhere. Having the right is may or may not be the same as mandating. I, I don't know. I'm just telling you the, the statutes that I read out of the. Um, right here, the town shall properly maintain the drain, ditch, or water course and keep it in good and sufficient repair until upon notice and hearing it is discontinued, the road is discontinued. What section is that, Title 19? That is Title 19 Highways under Chapter 009, Repairs, Maintenance, and Improvement. And you do know that uh, several years ago, the... Uh, Department Agency of Transportation got a committee together and and to do some sort of, you know looking into these class four highways and they they uh, came to the conclusion that it's an advantage to preserve these class four roads for future use because there's so much more um, people using them for uh, you know hiking for recreation. You know, whether it be hiking, bicycling, horseback riding, fishing, hunting, whatever, it, it's, it's an advantage to keep these roads uh, preserved and not allow the water to run down the down roads. <clears throat> so I guess right now, we, as you know already, Brian, that we've, we are, we're going to be talking about um, the right road as well as the Gilead Road and, and yeah. possibly another one or two other roads in regards to looking at reclassification or other discussions on what we what we want to do on those now to date we have a class four road policy and we have been very straight on that so i don't um not going to get into all the details but i mean we don't provide um summer or winter maintenance on those roads um however what we do allow just like everybody else is if you want to do any type of work to the road, um, as we've had many people before, is, is you come to the town, there's a class four road permit that you can fill out with a description of, uh, um, so like, let's say you want to put a water bar in, right? So you'd go to the town, you get a class four road permit and say, I'm looking at putting in a water bar at this location and the water's gonna flow this direction. And then it's, and then it's signed off by the town manager or the road foreman, and then, then you can do that work. I know. Um, so I, I think some of the confusion up, up, up on the right road was Gilead Road. We we're talking now. Well, okay. Well, uh, some of the confusion on some of the water bar issues, where some water bars were put in without any discussion. Some, so there was what we had talked about last year. We were going to go up in, possibly, fix that area. Um, by returning it back to where it was before, not that necessarily was, putting in drainage or anything like there. that. Um, no, you stated that you were going to come up, some new ditches and some new water bars would need to be installed and that the town was going to be doing that within a couple of weeks. Nothing was done up there. They did come up with the grader and it was late in the year and I can't remember who was running the grader. I think it was uh, 
Mr. Saul's uh, Hazen, be Hazen. I think. And then there's no material work. He tried to put a ditch in front of it, which doesn't amount to anything. It, it needs to be wide. It needs to be fixed. That that section in the water needs to be stopped from running. I'm just going. I know you've got a town a class four policy. I read that, but the stuff I read you is. Uh, is Vermont statutes, highway statutes for the state of Vermont. Yeah, which is what this is too. Right, but and, yeah, I, and I, I look through the and I look through the orange book there too, and there's quite yep. a bit of stuff about your responsibilities and and getting water. The big thing is getting water off the road fast so that it doesn't so that it doesn't build up, so it doesn't run down the road for 600 feet. And that you guys are in charge of doing that. It's not asking for a lot. It's been. Just like Carl's report, you, it's been, the road has been neglected. You know something, you can jump on your lawnmower and choose not to grease that barren and it's gonna go for a long time, but when it does go, you're gonna have bigger repairs. And it's been neglected. It's class three, I don't know if you get, uh, we don't. You, you say there's no aid on it, but wait a minute, there's no, there's no class of, there's no definition anywhere in the road statutes anywhere of what a NUTS road is. There's either a class one, two, three, four, or trail. Right, I wrote, I actually asked the state specifically about that section, and they said that once they have downgraded it, which they have, and says it's not up to standard, we do not receive highway when, aid for that section. Yeah, when, I, did, when did they, I'm sorry, when did they downgrade that, what year? What, I don't know, I didn't ask. The I'd downgrade. like to see that. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not right, but I'd no, like to see. No, because you can see it on the state highway map. I did, but it only goes back to 1988. Yeah. And, and maybe that's it because there was a, that once it was downgraded after four or five years, it could, you know, be considered a class four, but the town hasn't taken the formal action to change that yet to a class four or a legal trail as it is in Rochester. But, um, so, but I did write to the gentleman. Um, I can't remember his name right now off the top of my head, but I wrote to the state to find out. Because I, I know from... But you're right, there isn't. It just says from, on there that... From 1988 until the present, you know, I, I looked at the mileage that was taken off from your class three mm -hmm. um, portion, but years and years and years and years and years, you got money on that road. And you, it, it went to other, to other places and not on that road. And, well, and I'm sure all it takes, Brian, unfortunately, with the amount of money that that road gets, just like any of them, just driving up to take a look at it, we've already spent all the money for the road. Like, do you know how much money the state really gives you for those roads? I have no idea. Well, like yeah, that section I of road, you know. probably get like fourteen dollars a year for I it, can, or something like no, that. I, no, yes, no, no, no. Yes, it's it's Let me very tell you right here, right here. It's not even worth the the gas to drive Listen, up there. The, I'll tell you how much town, how much you want to know how much you get on a mile of road, a class three road. No, three. no, I'm saying that road. Mm -hmm. Not it's a class three road. Not that and, road. And for a lot of years, that road gets no money. <laughs> it's a class three road. It's, in, it's we get no money for that road. That second. But that I'm second saying, road. I'm saying for a period of time you didn't. Maybe you haven't. For, and you're going to show. I, I'd like to see that where they deducted that mile a day. I'll have to ask the gentleman. I'll email him back. But right now you're getting uh, approximately sixteen hundred and thirty dollars a mile. And if that's a half a mile, of course that that's today. That wasn't years ago. But in today's dollars, you'd be get that's 0.46 miles. You'd be getting roughly $800 a year on that road. You take that for 20 years, that's uh, that's $16,000, and that money went somewhere else. It didn't go on this road. I'm just asking. But I'm that's asking, assuming you're, and, you know, that, and that's the thing that you have the disconnect here is is we're not okay. So we're not going to go down the rabbit hole tonight. We get you 15 minutes. We right now are going to, as we had said the last meeting that you were here for, which was last, the, literally the last meeting, yeah, three that we ago. have been putting together the time for us to go up there to physically look at it so that then we can, <laughs> that's the process. So yeah. like it or not, well, that's let, the process. Let, wait so, a minute, you've all been up there. You've been up there. Trees. Doesn't matter, we have to warn it. We, because you we know, can't just go up and make the ruling tonight. You've been up and looked at it. It doesn't matter, it doesn't work that way. What he's saying is for the town to take an action to down officially say they want to reclassify um gilead just use an example they want to reclassify that section of gilead as a class four or a legal trail there is a statutory process for us to go through i have drafted the notices the town attorney's looking at it and you have to notify all the abutters i've been to rochester i've We'll do the right. So we, that way we have. Then you'll have a, a date that'll be a formal. I had tried to do walk through date. The Friday, I think it was October it. 14th, but I spoke to the attorney this afternoon. He'd been away, and I'm going to be out the rest of the week, so we're not going to be able to do that date in particular. 
but yes, we, not all of us, but at least Chris and I have been up and mm -hmm. seen the road. That's a true statement. But for them to, if to part of the statutory process to reclassify or discontinue a road, you have to have a quasi-judicial hearing. There's a whole, you know, process. So and that's what Chris is. I, I understand that. But you know <laughs> something right now, it, tonight is, is a class three road. I'm asking you to rule tonight. Uh, you're probably not going to, but if you don't, I, I tell you, I, I'm just going to turn it over to my attorney. That's what I'm going to do because I think you've broken some rules. And, and you haven't you haven't uh, you haven't done anything. You haven't listened to people in good faith. You you only you only made a decision to benefit one person. And, See, and yeah. you're wrong there. So I don't understand. You're, you're not listening. I'm, I'm telling you what I what I feel. So. And uh, you know I, I'm just going to throw this out. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. You know what's worse than being crapped on for 35 years by your brother and sister-in-law? On the on the on the free use of these town roads to access your own property, you know what's worse than that? That's when you come to the select board in the town and ask for help, and they crap on you too. That's how I feel. I'm sorry. Well, again, how you feel and how it is isn't always okay. Well, I'm turning turn so. if, if you're not going to make a decision tonight to to fix up that site, I'm not asking to plow it in the winter. I want that. I'd like that section widened. So in the brush, they did the best job they could with hand tool. You need a machine up there. You need a it, it's it's. It's a jungle. You know, yeah, they, we don't they work have hard a, probably for what they got done, but yeah. there's still no line of sight. You can't. It's, yeah, the road is this wide. Because we don't deep. have a roadside mower. I know. So we don't. And when we did the sections of town, obviously the price gone up, and we only have certain sections. So they did go up, and um, with probably that hand tools or maybe a chainsaw, I don't know. But um, yeah, we don't have a roadside mower, which is probably what it something sturdier. Yeah, it needs something like Gilman's got one on his excavator, the, you know, the mulch or, you know, a big heavy duty. Yeah, push -up yeah, we, unfortunately we don't own anything no, like that. I so know, Morgan I'm, and I'm AJ. bringing you aware of what's been neglected all these years. That's, that's what I'm doing. And uh, obviously you're probably not going to make a decision. Are you going to make a decision to fix that section up? Not tonight. No. Okay, that's all I need to know. Um, well, for well, to be on the record anyways, we have three board members here tonight, and it was not put on the agenda to make a decision on this article. I'm asking you to make a decision. That's, that's why but, I came but here. But that's not the way, you. that's not the way our board functions, though. So. Um, Therese asked you, though, to, she recommended that you not make a decision tonight, so you're going by her recommendation? I asked them not to make, I wasn't sure what you said to hear me through and yeah. don't, I but not to make you. a decision because right. we, I thought that your issue was more comprehensive than that one section. So I thought they can't make a decision outside of that statutory process if they were going to discontinue or do something like that to the road. And if they decided they, during that process, if they weren't going to discontinue the road, they were going to do maintenance. I felt like they were was going to be a process for that, so you wouldn't be ignored. It's just going to be six weeks until we get through the process. That's so the problem. And it's been pushed under the rug for a year. I'm just telling you, if even if you downgrade it to class four, which is simple enough to get the votes, I can get the votes in Gilead Road. Five percent of the voters. How many voters, by the way, in the town of Bethel? Registered voters? Yeah. Jeez. Well, I can find out. You, you can ask Pam. I want to say like 1800, 1930. Yeah, I'll say there's, I was trying to. Uh, tax how many actually or, vote? Taxpayers are registered. I think that's registered. No, voters. that's registered voters. There's different amount. Just because you're a resident doesn't automatically make you a registered voter. So, two different things so that way um but a petition can be signed by it doesn't it, it, a landowner or a taxpayer in the town you know what you may have to ask i mean a, not a landowner a a, 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 a registered a, voter right a registered voter i think the petitions may only be signed by registered voters but i haven't been a town clerk in a long time so i you should ask pam ask i don't want to quote the statute right so, and, and Election laws change, so. So what I'm getting at, it, even if you do succeed in downgrading it to a class four, your water running down the road doesn't go away. That's that's still that's still up to the select board to, the select or the town of Bethel. I uh, will review that. So you said Title 19, Chapter 09 or 011. Is that? I'm good here. Yeah, because I'm not finding. 011. 
as a chapter or a section? It was. It was. At, it was. A, um, what do they call it? Because this is how Title 19 is this big. So to, sometimes it's like finding a needle in it. No, wait a minute. That was. I'm sorry. That was a dish. Uh, I'm just, my book work is so good. Let me just write it down. Um, Thank you. I think. Okay. So I need and 9.52, perfect. Yep. And then you said 0.11. This is the one for... Because the book's... No, this is the one for... This is illegal to... Um, but purposely know. obstruct a ditch culvert or drainage course that drains a highway. Well, we don't know what's Yeah, right here. Oh. Okay. Title 19, chapter 0, 0, zero yeah. one zero one one. section 9.2, Okay. Yeah. Obstructing ditches. All right. So... All right. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's it. And... Uh, so your problem with drainage isn't going to go away even if you reclassify it and I'll, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I will definitely look at it and I mean we have a meeting in two weeks so um, I, I'm happy to, that's not one of the statutes that I had marked or reviewed because I was focused on getting, moving forward with the reclassification of that, of a portion of Wright Road and Gilead so I was not looking at that you know, statutes, chapter, and verse on on water. Um, so, and Chris is correct. Usually, when people come as an appointment, it doesn't automatically make it a decision item. Um, if you're requesting that, we can add it to an agenda. You know, but next year sometime. No, well, well, in two weeks. <laughs> Brian, okay. I'm not trying to argue with, but I was just reviewing the letter that you had submitted to us, the Bethel Select Board. Uh, the purpose of uh, the meeting on 912 and you said is to discuss the deteriorated conditions uh, okay uh, in, so there in your letter there's no there's nothing in here like I would like the the select board to make a decision on you know what I mean so, I understand that but that's why I'm here tonight that's why I'm requesting tonight that's why I wanted right. this time to request tonight but so, but what we're saying at this time as well is that add it to the agenda Right now, we're we're talking internally with our um, well, you town. Probably gotta, you probably got to talk it over with the other select board too, right? Yeah. So I, mean, I can put it as a we can. I will happy to list it as a decision item, an action item for them in two weeks. So when will I get a definite decision? In two weeks. In so two weeks, I'll get a definite d decision on whether you're going to fix that or and fix the drainage come to, or not. One week. Because I'll have had two a chance weeks. to read the statute. Let me just tell you what the okay. is. I can live with that. September 26th. It's been a year. So, okay. So, Two weeks from today. Yeah. And um, so that's what it meant. So we'll put it as an action item. Then, and then okay. it also gives me a chance. I'm looking at that statute right now. So it will give me a chance to read it and understand what. Um, and then we're moving forward on the. And we are moving forward at the same time with reclassifying the section of Wright Road basically from, um, for lack of a better description, the turnaround at the farm um, up to the end where it hits the Rochester town line and looking at the portion of Gilead where it um, is the not up to standard class three. So basically after Andrews to the Rochester town line. So, that, so we are working on that as well. And um, I had got your information and the Terrans, and like I said, I'd gone to Rochester and to figure out who's a butters, who owns property, because there's, you know, in the it's same process, and, and the same thing goes with not that we're discussing tonight, but the same thing that goes with the right road is if you downgrade that to class four, the other issues don't go away that are there. Right, and that's why I want to read and understand the, the statute. I haven't, I'm not familiar with this section. I'm, um, you know, there's a lot of them, so um, I would right, just want to the, make sure what the select boards what they actually have to do because it also says it doesn't say that where they talk about other road maintenance like the select board can choose to do certain maintenance class four whereas you know i certainly understand at a quick glance your interpretation of this so i just want to make sure i understand what the select board's full obligation is and that that they carry that out so i appreciate you giving me the numbers I, I wish the other two two people were here i because, know you know every time i come to a meeting i hear chris talk a lot i don't hear anybody what do you think dave what, what do you think about, don't you, I mean, what do you, what do you feel about these class four roads? Don't you think they should be preserved in some way? Get, at least get the water running off them? I think, 
I believe that every road has its own uh, need, okay? Now, I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking uh, what you want to do on that road, but what about, uh, I tried to go on that road years ago, and the Randolph part, or Rochester part, you're saying they're uh, broken the law by not fixing it up so it's passable? Is that what you're saying? Water running down the road, whatnot? No, there's a statute against you guys filling in water bars and purposely, instead of finding a different Well, yeah, but you, you went beyond that and said that there also, there's a uh, statute in there that says you can't, you have to take care of the water on that class four road. Yeah, there is. There's a statute there well, that I I'd just... like you to go up to Cushion Mountain and drive down to your land that way. Tell me how they took care of the water down there. Well, you can't get down through there. Well, that's, not with your truck. But the, but nobody disputes that. I'm disputing this. If somebody disputed that, you may, or maybe. And I, I don't know. from looking at the pictures, um, I haven't been up that far. I've been to Andrew's house as far as I've been. Um, I guess I'm looking forward to having a, a uh, whatever uh, warned visit, whatever they, whatever you want to call it, to look at because of the pictures show. I, I'm not sure how you'll get the water off that road from the pictures. I'm not saying that that's it can't be done, but I know how some of these old roads are. So yes, I'm all for keeping Class Four roads open, but also I, since I've been sitting in the seat and how much how much money the town has. And I know what it costs today to run a grader or a backhoe or any kind of equipment, truck and buy material or, or whatever. And I'm not saying that, I don't believe that you're being singled out by anybody. Yeah, well, uh, we can dispute that too. Well, not me singled out, no, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. But anyway, um, I'm, and I'm not asking for you guys to maintain this road all the way to the to the Rochester line. I'm asking to fix up the session that affects me that I have to use to access my property and, and to stop that water that's, that's what's ruining this road, to stop it from running from the height of the land down to the water that's damaging the road. That's all I'm asking. I don't want I, you I to understand. I understand that you looked up those statutes and I understand that you have, you have a belief of what they mean. Uh, I need to hear Therese's understanding of those statutes also. I found I'm something. not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I want to. I want to hear after we've talked to somebody higher than us. That's why. I'm yeah. So I found them. Thank you. And I will ask for. I, I'll read it and, and ask for a clarification if I need to from. Therese, you and you. But, but thank the, you. There's a little asterisk at the bottom of that. I think that says uh, it was that that law was added in 1985. Could be, yeah, this is the newest book. And I think so, it said 1985. It could be, so I will, and I will, I'm gonna be out the rest of the week, but um, the following week I'll email this gentleman from the state and ask him about the state highway aid thing, because I, I don't know. Yeah, find, I'll, out, I'll, find out what year they started doing it and, and show me the chart of the mileage where they deducted that mileage off yeah. in the class three. It could be that um, I have seen that we submit ours, and I have seen where the state will send one back edited, where maybe they fixed something or you made an adjustment, but um, I'll ask them. They should have it, so I'll, I'm happy to get that. Jean, what, what do you, any thoughts? Do you have any thoughts? The most, uh, I think the most salient thought I'm having right now is that I'm not willing to take any action until we have uh, the verification of the law of what is mandated and if that does not happen by within the next two weeks I would not be willing two weeks from now to make a decision until we have heard uh, have some final final word on what is actually said what is man what is actually mandated and what remains at your dis discretion what needs to be worked into a town's road maintenance schedule, uh, all of that uh, is continues to be, uh, and and I'm at a disadvantage because I do not know uh, the property lines. Uh, I can, I mean, I can look at a map, but that doesn't help me 
uh, without actually going up and physically with somebody who knows where the lines are, where the access roads are, whether uh, this is the only access to your site. I mean, there's a lot of information uh, that that need that I need, uh, and uh, and. I will act when I will be ready to act when that information is available. And I, and I think at this point, Brian, it, we got, I mean, we all have opinions, right, of, of every single topic in town. But for myself, I have an opinion, but I'm more of following policy. So we have a town for, you know, class highway policy that we follow and, and try to be as consistent with that policy as possible. So right now, you know, we are we are working off of the policy that we have. But you've also got to go by the state statute, highway statute as well, and incorporate them together. Yeah, and, and we yeah. give us a little bit of time to research that because we're not going to sit here and make a decision mm -hmm. that is ill-fated in not knowing or catching us in a catch-22 or something like that. We're, we're we're not playing the game. So it's it. You have requested. We've received what you what you are asking for. It's already in motion, so to tell us that we're not doing anything about it, it's already in motion. We've been working on um, the proper warning for a reclassification hearing to have, um, which takes time. And, and we will research the, um, the Title 19 information that you gave us and, and go through that with the League of Cities and Towns and our lawyer, and, and, yeah. and we'll figure out you know, what, how to make a decision on that. I mean, yeah, again, we 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 don't know. Just like Gene was saying, we don't know all the all the laws of the land of of Vermont. Um, too many. You know, so um, I mean, to make these decisions, that's why we have to have um, the correct information in front of us. So, so I will say this: I will send the attorney an email. I wrote those down. I found them in here. We'll ask him a question, and I will say it's interesting because of what you're, you know, those those um, email or uh, statute references because the class four road policy that actually comes from like VLCT so it's interesting to me that they don't reference you know what I mean other statutes but I will email him Wednesday and um, but we'll put you on so they'll make an action item decision and hopefully we have a full slate of people here in two weeks and two weeks you said mm -hmm. the 26 14 plus 12 He's 26. Yeah. Was the last time I went to school. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll do and that. Also, and, and also, currently I have no appointments, but if there's an appointment, it would come on just before you, so just so you know. And you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a date set for the meeting on the other road? Both, Gilead and Wright, yes. I, no, I'm not business. sure if I'm gonna have a date set before the 26th, I don't know. I'm waiting for the lawyer to review um, our notices, then they have to obviously get certified mail. I'm hoping, but I'm going to be out the rest of the week, so I'm I'm hoping I'll have it done in two weeks. Vacation? No, actually, not work. No, yeah, a sick. One of my kids having surgery, so I need to take care of them. So, um, but anyway, so but we'll. Um, so that will be, you know, part of the process. So hopefully, I'm hoping to have all the information and the date set on the 26th. That's for the. But that's for the. Reclassifying good. Wright Road and a portion of Wright Road. Let me be clear about that. And a portion of Gilead. I don't want to start a rampage. <laughs> so just portions of Wright Road and a portion of Gilead. And the, that's for the physical meeting at the. Yeah. So what we would do is we would meet here. Chris would call the meeting to order and then we would go and then the select board can, you know, is there. Then you, you come back and you take a, it's a quasi judicial hearing. So people have to take an oath, the meeting has to be recorded and you take testimony. People, you can say what you want to say and if somebody else was there that they could question you. People have the right to question yep. each other. Yep. And, um, and then the select board, you know, everybody leaves, they take testimony and then they have 60 days. 60 days statutorily to make a decision. And of course, the select board has options. They could loan, they could reclassify it as a class four, they could make it a trail. If they make it as a trail, then it goes to state of Vermont, forest, parks, and recreation, and they can decide if they want to make it like a legal trail. So 
their options. The select board just has to decide, um, you know, how, how they want to move forward. Oh, okay. Um, did you put the stake in up above the farm? Do you think the town class three road? Chris and I did. Wrong. Yep. You're about uh, you're about 70, 60 feet short, but that's all right. Well, I measured it eight times with a wheel. I'll do it again. We measured from. I asked the state where they measure from to, you know, because they obviously are the ones, when you look at your state highway map, it's the state that sets those. And they said from the middle of Gilead. Middle um, of Gilead Road. Where, middle, middle of Gilead Road where it breaks off. That's, they start there up point how right. many ever miles that is to is the length of right road. And so we felt we were within, we thought we were within 15, 16 feet. Uh, you saw the stake there with the blue tab. We thought we were within 15 or 16 feet. I don't know why they, why would they start in the middle of a row? Uh, it's the a state. way they do their measurements. Yeah. I don't know. We asked. I think I'd question, I'll question that a little bit. Too. But anyway, that's yeah, okay. I asked because... Everything, everything the state of Vermont does is from the middle of the road. Well, because we, we were going up, so I asked somebody to make sure. So we felt we were within, you know. Do they take into account where old bridges were at one time? Did let's we? say let's say you replace the bridge uh -huh. between the time you set it over, make the road straighter. You're right. You take out a certain amount of feet. Oh no, I bet. Is that taken into account too? No, because when they took out, you mean right road, replace the bridge after did that going after Irene. Yeah. So it would have changed the yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Good, good I don't. I doubt it because the state doesn't go out and remeasure no. roads. So if so, if that changed, I think the original. You know, probably would have been certainly before, um, yeah, because they they rarely come out. But we just put that stake there, just kind of to get a visual of where we, you we know, felt. the interpretation okay. of that. And um, but if we we obviously would get it professionally measured. If well, we and we reclassify the road. We're gonna reclassify from most likely the turnaround at the farm because it makes it easier for our truck to turn around. So most likely we're gonna reclassify from there. So where it specifically starts or ends is probably not you know, a big deal because they reclassify the whole section. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, <coughs> I mean, that Another, would be Just one more issue with the, uh, yeah, I guess instead of putting it under public, I guess I'll bring it up now. The class four section, it's a class four now on right road. I know you've got to get permission from the select board to do everything. I'm going to take a contractor up there before our meeting, a physical meeting up there, and have him mark the trees. There's a shit ton of trees that are going to have to come out to upgrade the class, to, for me to fix up the class four road up to my lot where I want to make, or where I want the, well, the electricity and the road mm -hmm. to go. There's a bunch of maple trees that are going to have to, and what, I, what I'm going to do is get a contractor to come up and tell me Roughly, this one's got to go. This one, this, 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 this has got to go, so that they're marked. I want to mark them with a little bit of paint, so that when you guys come up for a physical view, I can show you this. This is what's got to go. So you're gonna get um, like a logger, forester, or contractor, probably, Justin, or forty acre Gilman, or, or Ray Harvey, or he right, doesn't so need permission from the town to, cut to mark. Well, he as long as they're yes. on his property. If they're on I his property and cut yeah. trees, but. But he still needs it, it, they're, I, endanger, have to, they're endangering the road. Yeah, and, so we'd still, he, yeah, he would. He, I mean, we'd have to go in there. But if you want to mark the trees, that's fine. I don't have a problem. I just want to make sure the that ones they... ones that are on his own property, right? You, right. I mean, you right. can... You can. No, the ones that are on, on their side I get, that, that, that are going to have to come out to widen this road. Well, the widening... There's, 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 ro there's trees up there. The road hasn't been able well, to be Well, we, we drove it. Chris and I went up and... And obviously, it gets very narrow at a certain part, and um, you could have a contractor give you an inventory of you would need to remove X amount of trees on your side and X amount of trees on the other side. It's got to be on there. It's got to be on their side because you can't go on my side. The the ditch is there already, and it's, it's got to go the other way. And these are trees that because nobody's been able to use this lo this road for almost 90 years, they they have encroached in the road. And nobody's done anything to them, and, and they're endangering the road. And there's actually a statute that says if trees are endangering the road, they need to be removed. Right. So the row of trees have got to come out. To, so I, so I can so you can maintain it in the winter time to have 
to, to plow the road and get rid of the snow, you're going to have to get so rid of the snow. Um, and I'm pretty sure that after your lawyer sent us the last letter and our lawyer sent a response, the town attorney sent a response saying, you know, that there was a licensure, you know, that there was an agreement and everything that had to happen if the town was going to approve that. But um, we haven't gone any further with it. So obviously no trees could be cut or anything like that without no. a permit to work in the towns right away. Correct. So. But I, I want to mark so you can see in the ones that will be marked. On your own side? No, on your side. Well, I would just recommend staying on your own. I mean, what's wrong with a piece of okay, paper? Okay, wait. I can show you. One, we're over our 15 minutes. Okay, so you had a 15 minute appointment. It has been 40 minutes. So you know something? You, it's good to talk about these roads because. No, but I'm saying we're, we're not going to. The board is not here to get into a civil dispute between the two families, okay? I would recommend, as the board chair or just a random person, that mark the trees on your own property. I wouldn't go across and mark trees on my neighbor's there, property. The road you know? is here, the tree is here, the road is here. Does it, uh, no. Make a note of it. At your this location, this is the tree I'm concerned about. give you an inventory about. of how many trees. Because remember, you can't deny me the, the opportunity to fix a road up to, to access my property. Well, we're, we don't know that. We're, we we're, don't, we're don't investigating that. that. We, so, all that, we want is to not give you permission to go on no. somebody else's land. And if Andrew's certainly stating he doesn't want that, then we can't give you that authority. That's all. We don't want to add. So for right now, we're gonna to we're this. gonna do some research on the class four stuff. Yes, absolutely. We have the ball in motion mm -hmm. to to figure out um, the date for the meeting for reclassifications. Um, so I don't. I think okay. That well, we'll, yeah. let, we'll let the lawyers handle it. Yeah, and so on sure. the twenty sixth, you'll have you'll get your answer. Sounds good. And I will look at those and. I appreciate you giving me that information, and I will email the state and get you the information about the highway. Just remember, just remember, this is town right away, which you guys have the control of, not the farm. And we no, understand no that. No more favoritism. No more. Uh, no more. Uh, there hasn't been favoritism. Yes, there has. No, there hasn't. Yes, there has. No, there All right. Has. You know it. Your but time anyway, is up, Brian. But anyway, um, okay, I guess that's it. We got to move, move. I got one forward. thing. One quick thing on public. Or I guess I could do it now, and then you can be rid of me. Dave, you want to be rid of me? I, I don't have any issue with <laughs> listening to anybody who has what they have to say. I would, yeah. but I, I have to uh, agree with uh, Gene in the fact that I don't have enough information to make a decision. So. I guess it's going to boil down to the legality. Sure, that's why that's why we have people that represent each other. Yeah, they are that's more right. adverse than that. Right. So. All right, so we'll move forward to the public comment period. So if there's anything on that's not on the agenda that somebody wants to comment on public comment. Ellie's the only one out in the digital world. You have anything, Ellie, are you good? Okay, Ellie's good. I just, just one thing, I wanted to ask a question. Did you do the mandatory cleanup of plastic flowers on Saturday? It, we didn't do it. I put a notice in the paper and stating that the people that the um, people put them in, they had to have them gone by the 11th, by Sunday, September 11th. I let um, Cecil know we spoke. He said he only had one um, plot that had plastic flowers on it. Everybody else that was here that had put plastic flowers out had removed them. So I think he was going to remove them from that one um, location. So he was happy that everybody had done, you know, what they said they would. For one, my assumption, he couldn't remember the name on the grave. My assumption is they may have been somebody from out of state who just come up on a holiday or something and put it in left. Mm -hmm. So That's good to hear. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, Cecil's back and in charge. So it's working out good. Any other public comment? All right, we'll close public comment. And we'll move forward. We have the uh, appointment of Corey Richards and Jason Rogers as deputy fire wardens. Their information was in the packet. Yeah, so they were interviewed by the state. I think there's a gentleman from the state who comes yeah. down and interviews them. Yeah, so he was, they passed muster. Second. So here is okay, you guys all in need favor. To Hi. So you need to sign here, and then the other members need to sign here, and we need to date it. Which is 
sign this one. So you need to sign here, and then they'll sign there. And then we'll drop these off. Yeah, I'll get so Jean, you just need to sign. Do you okay? Just make sure if you didn't sign in, just make sure you sign in. I don't know if you signed it or not, but so, right so we have for the record. I wouldn't buy on you. You're all. <laughs> if, I have a if I have a sharp, you need <laughs> Right, exactly. <laughs> all right, so we'll get these to the, <clears throat> back to the, State of Vermont. Okay. Then we had the reappointment of Oscar and Justin as constables. Yeah, so I had, <clears throat> apologize, I didn't write in the, I'd written March 2023, but it's actually March. I want, I was saying March 13th, 2023, because that's your organizational meeting, which would be the second um, Monday in <clears throat> March. And then we can get them back on a regular schedule so that they would get appointed every um, March, like, Fence viewers and everybody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just need a motion to accept that. So moved. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All right. we're, we're still working on the uh, any other possibilities to do policing in this town. It's in yep with the budget discussion okay. um, coming up and uh, but Gene, I just I did. Um, I saw. Did that help you? Okay. Yes. Good. All right. Perfect. I, I still have a question. But <laughs> you may have to ask a police officer. I mean, I may, yeah. <laughs> well, I may have to ask a lawyer. Yeah. You know, what is uh, criminal well, procedure? Or versus, yeah. Versus, I mean, I didn't see arrest. No, I had just. And so it's a, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I had just defined it. Way above my pay grade. grade. Huh? Above, well, I had just gone through to define civil or criminal process, and then I went to VSA, you know, 691, and sometimes the statutes are just I mean, this circle. And there's a lot of those call-outs, well, we'll get yeah. to it, but, like, when you get into, like, more of the criminal code call-outs, yeah. like, they normally handle that with multiple officers, so let's say our constable was going I mean, so there, there may be a Vermont State Police, and then they take over the... Yeah. arrest or investigation or whatever. But what's funny you know. is, so here it says the service of civil, civil or criminal process. You go to that and then it gives you this where it says either civil or criminal process. And even in, when I was looking through Title 12, they don't define civil or criminal process. So I had to go find, try to find a legal definition. So it's, it's, yeah. it's interesting sometimes how some things in statute are spelled right out but then something like this something is, is, is not, right. so, I figured I mean, I'd find a definition. So I was, I was reading through that and yeah. saying, so what's the difference yeah. between a constable and a police officer? Not much. Well, understand. and that's the it's thing is nowadays much. it's, it's, it used to be a, a very large difference. Yes. Be well, uh, because okay. they, and that's yeah. fine. And that's and what we were talking about. Like when Oscar we, came on, he was whatever. He's he, a two E. Two E. But, you know, so it seems like a majority of individuals are at that yeah. certification now, which... But years ago, I can give you an example, my brother-in-law, who, you know, has no police back whatsoever, was a constable for years in another town. He probably um, just had to take a couple courses and He didn't have to do anything. Yeah. And, and he, he just got elected as a constable. And I think that was very yeah. common throughout the state of Vermont. And then they yeah. slowly... Uh, dangerous, wasn't it? And yeah. then slowly... Um, you had uh, the state started saying, okay, people have to have more training to be police and that to be constables, and then they had to go to the part time academy. But once upon a time, it could be anybody, you could have been a and, constable. And so, so part yeah. of the whole, con yeah. but part of this whole conversation to be held in the 21st century, yeah, means that there is little 
distinguishing. So we really are talking about policing. Yes. We're not, and, and yeah. I, yeah, you and are. So it, I, that's an important thing for us. It's not just traffic control and, mm -hmm. and it, dog catching. Exactly, and, like and it may have been. With, like it may have been. So we need to throw that into the hopper of our discussion. And then, it, in my opinion, we need now to pay more, pay as much attention to uh, some of the concerns nationwide about police abuse mm -hmm. and, and how we minimize that and whether policing is doing social work right or whether it's doing law enforcement that's a, those are two different they are and, and one of the things still in the books which was interesting when I was doing this research for you and then something had just come to me from the criminal justice training council about constables um, and I had gone back to do some research to figure out when in Bethel you had voted to have the select board appoint the constable there is still on the books that you can vote at town meeting to limit the authority of a constable. So, right. Yes. Yeah, yep. I did see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could limit the authority. You could, and and this select board, the select board had not done that, um, nor had the voters at town meeting. That would have to be a town meeting vote. Right. So, but it, but it's interesting. But yes, I think just anybody was a constable back in the day. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. So, so well, not that's anymore. Help. Thank, thank yeah. you. For, yeah, yeah, no. But again, it, it's still a, it, it wouldn't change our current policing. It, no. At all. Because we've been, we've been with a 2E for four, four, years. Well, four or five years now. So, I mean, we, I, are, are, I, we, I, right. I understand what you're getting at, but it wouldn't be like all of a sudden there's new accreditations and we're going into a different, I mean, we, this constable, or the constables that we have currently, one of them has been with us for four, almost five years now. Yeah. Well, and has been 2E certified and has the full authority. So we're, in Bethel, we're not changing anything, you know? I understand, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, the, my other question before we move forward, you see, I see that we've budgeted 20 hours a week. That's and, what we currently have, yeah. And that Oscar worked 53 and a half hours in 23 and a half weeks. Yeah. That's our problem right now is so because they're he's so <coughs> staffed. And um, you didn't show how much of that difference was made up by Justin. None. No, Not hardly any. Justin hasn't, so, I don't think he's worked, maybe once, but. So we're uh, definitely not So we're any. not, we, we budgeted for 20 hours. We're right now getting 15. If we're lucky. Oh, if that. Not in a, seven. at the last pay period, it was what, seven hours or something, something like that? Something like that. Yeah, it's very, some weeks yeah. we get none. So, um, having, Pointed that out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. will move that we we continue the current or that we reappoint them until town meeting and or 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 our decision on yeah. or a any a future decision on we reappoint them until town meeting. If we make yeah. a new decision, we'll deal yeah. with it. Right, because your new budget would pick up your new. <laughs> That's right. right. Exactly. So the motion Dave made was to reappoint constables Oscar Gardner and Justin Cram until March 13th, 2023. Okay. So you're good with that motion? Yeah. Oh, so you're going to second it? I think we already voted. Oh, you already voted on it, so yeah. I said no second. All right, you guys got to listen. You've seconded one article, but not two, so either. Okay. Let's be consistent. I said. Uh, <laughs> Otherwise, the minutes are going to look funky. And, and then I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. What we all know, but I know it's. But it's, thank you for your. Yeah, no, I'm happy to look. Yeah, sure. And well, it was the, interesting. Yeah, I appreciate you guys' time.
Yeah. Uh, have a good evening. Right, see I, I think it's really good. To, I have to say, when you're talking about roads, I watch out. I'm not here very often, but I look at all the um, selectmen's note, you know, meetings, the notes. You whatever. read the minutes. They good. Go. And uh, That's good. you guys meet twice a month, say two hours each time, so four hours a month, 48 hours. I don't think we had discussed 40 minutes of roads in the last year or two years. So it's pretty good. All right, well, have a good evening. See you. All right. And then, Ellie, you're probably uh, snooping behind know. the scenes there in regards to some recreational facility grant stuff. Does that sound right? Yeah, I just I just have a question about it. Um, um, when you when when you um, talk about the information, and then can I ask a question before you approve it? Sure. Sure. Um, I just um, I was just curious because it it's really needed and and I agree with it and stuff like that because. Because, uh, in fact, uh, we used to have a bike rack at the center, but I don't know where it went. Um, but when it, when you're saying it, it, that the 50% match comes from the Recreation General Fund budget, is that because in the, in the town report under, under maintenance for proposed 22-23, Six thousand five hundred. Is that where that match is going to come? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Deidre is going to take it out of the you know the budget that she has for the pool. Yeah, it's yeah. not coming out of capital fund. Right. Just just working it yeah. in around your budget that around, you have between now and June. Yeah, around her budget. 30th. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For for twenty two twenty three, right? Yep. And, and it sounds like this grant. Yeah, we'll 22. Yep, 22-23, yes, sorry, yes. Okay, just wanted to confirm that. Sure. And this recreational facilities grant, I know you had some examples on there, ladders, exit ladders, this I'm is, assuming from this, the pool? Or? Yeah, this is what Dietrich, Dietrich um, wrote the grant and she wrote the- um, Is it specific to those certain yes, things or yep. is it a wider- Nope, okay. you had to write it, she had so to like get- it's like accessibility type? She had to get pricing, so it had been a complaint that people, there's no seating, real good seating inside the pool area, so that and a bike rack um, for kids who go to the skate park or go to the pool, there's no bike rack there, so it had to be- um, and we also need two deep end exit ladders. So yes, she, her grant had to be specific and she had to provide quotes and estimate in with her okay. along with two letters of um, support. So so yes, it wasn't any, these guys usually want specific. Is this a grant that it's one of these like done deal grants or we don't know? We don't know, that's why she's okay. she's gonna send it in but she needs you guys. So she's to, just asking permission to, to send, send in the grant yeah. as, as well as use the 50% match yeah. part of the yep, that's general part, fund. Of, yeah, because that's grant. part of your grant gotcha. policy. Yeah. So, so 20, uh, 29, I just want to make sure I had it right. 2973.55 is the total amount is, of the grant? Or yes. is the total amount yep. 58 well, or 59 something? Yeah, right, probably right. Yeah, 29 is what it is. It is, well, because we get 29.73 from, this is what so twenty nine seventy three fifty five is what they would be given us using for match. Yeah, and okay. They're giving us right. the same. Gotcha. The state is funny like that. They like to use the total when in fact they're only giving you half. Yeah. So <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I was yeah. just reading. No, that right. sorry if I wasn't clear. Okay. Yeah, roughly. Yep. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Yep. Okay. All right, any You're further welcome. discussion on that or we just need a motion to motion to accept or allow to the application of the facilities grant recreational. Yep, whatever. <laughs> Do we have a second? <laughs> Gene, you got all the power tonight. That's all right, you got a second. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> One, two. All right, then we have Babe's Bar request to cater for the Ford Festival event. Yep, they are requesting that their hours of operation from beginning to end are from 3 to 10, approximate number of people 200, and this is the same 
um, the numbers that they put out last year. Okay. And obviously, they, you know, it has to be fenced in. They're well aware of the rules, um, and they would be enforced by, you know, Department of Liquor Control. So, and we didn't have any issues last year. Move it. Okay. Did you hear Gene? He moved. Moved. It. Okay. I was just finishing reading it. Yeah. Okay, uh, second. Yeah. All in Aye. favor? Aye. All right. So this was. And we had an errors. Uh, Lister's errors and emissions. Yep, the they put that in here. It's a new form. Very fancy. For Dennis Woods um, property. Yeah, and Judy and Mo, they went back and they cannot figure out how the value changed. So she wrote computer slash Lister error because she said we cannot figure this out how it had how it had changed. She said I might have hit a button when I was you know doing something. So, okay. um, but so it just gives you the change from and to the grant list. All right. And yeah, they, just need a motion to approve. No move. Just need a second. Um. You gonna second that? No, we don't need to. Oh, okay, we're not second that. Oh, we don't need to? Yeah. <laughs> I just said be consistent. Okay, that's fine. Make up your mind. Yeah. What do you want? I want them to do one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about we just do, yeah. Drop the second. We'll oh, do all in go. favor. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Perfect. So you guys have to sign these new forms. So okay. just on this side, it doesn't signify. Just this one form? Yep. So up. I think you're over here. You guys are over here. Okay. Not where it says. While that's going around, do we have a. Um, Clear idea of where those roads are. White ro right road. Yes. At, I mean, yep. You know, those are some that we do know where yep, they know. actually are. I'll yeah. take you for a ride. Yeah. <laughs> Been there a few times. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, okay. So the right of way can be measured very easily. <laughs> Well, just going from the, the center. Not, well, I'll not, show you. Not necessarily. Not if you want to get the right right away, you need to hire a surveyor to find the Special center of the road. And they had both had their land surveyed, and out, and Mr. Lana had done some work up there. So we do have some good uh, information about I right see, road. That was my question. Right. About right road, but. So, but if they, There'll be some questions in that manner oh, I'm up sure. there. I mean, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, especially yeah on one road, more so than the other one. All right. Yeah, is that a light when we turn that one on? Is no. that working? No, that's why it's... Oh, did... I think all, all the other lights are light, on. It's that's a balloon. It's just that oh, one. That it must light. be all the bulbs are out. Really? Yeah. Jeez, we only we knew an electrician. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That was on last time. I don't... I didn't think so. I thought they were all out last time. I don't think so. He's gonna find out. He'll start flipping switches and we'll see. Well, it will be. Oh, oh hey. Hey, what was I the see deal? the light. I'll send you my bill. Oh, you go ahead. What was the deal? I flipped the switch on the bottom. Oh, are they on dimmers? Give me the emergency. Dimmer, right? Oh, yeah. Someone had a dimmer all the way. $150 oh, just to do the emergency and switch. Oh, uh, yeah, Perfect. the switches weren't up. Oh. They're on, but not up. Well, there you go. We have light. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I was man. wondering. I was sitting here going, why is it so dark? Oh, that's what I was thinking. Around. I'm like, I don't know why it's so dark. I, yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh, it's time. Good. Oh no, so we're still early. Like I don't get sunshine in yeah, here. Yeah, I just so <laughs> I don't recall. All right, now that we can see, we'll yeah. uh, continue on here. So we'll just uh, continue on with our uh, discussion in regards to kind of going through the police budget, um, as well as Teresa had thrown in there some heating oil options. Yep, and town hall. I had done the town. Of, well, because there was. So to talk about, especially with the town officials. Um, so I did the town officials, town hall, constable yeah. budget. Um, so if you want to start at the top, town officials. I see the. Um, where was the oil one at? Um, I had written. Oh, got it. Uh, no. Yeah, it's in your thing. Yeah. All right. So I don't, what do you want to start with, budgets? I don't know. I'll just do the heat and oil piece. Sure. 
fuel one first? Yes. Yeah, so I had uh, spoken with CB Oil regarding diesel, gas, and heating oil prices. And currently our agreement is that we pay 15 cents over rack price for diesel, 25 cents over rack for gas, and 0.438 over rack for heating fuel. Um, they are currently offering us a heating oil pre-buy at either 469 or 470 a gallon, but with our existing rack price deal on the 8th, our price was at 4028 a gallon. Mm -hmm. And um, so I did had a good conversation with Charlie and at CB Oil, and he said, boy, when this started, Therese, he said it was, I finally went to changing my price daily. And when he used to have the ability to buy smaller quantities of, of fuel or, you know, and when this came about, he could no longer do that. So they actually put him in a position where he ended up having to buy like over 100,000 gallons. And he'd been getting a lot of pressure from people to do a pre-buy, pre-buy, pre-buy. And then, so he bought, and then three weeks later, try to exchange. And he, so he was, so I did talk to him about it, and I just asked him what his crystal ball looked like. And I said, my gut says to stay with rack price, but I told him that I would ask. You yeah, know, the, guys, the only think? thing, I, my crystal ball, I would like to see is who's going to be elected in November. Yeah. <laughs> well, the well, it's, mine's just not that good. The because, indications on the energy markets, anyways, is that it's going to continue to go down and stabilize. Yeah. So that's, you know, and I work in the energy market all day, so mm -hmm. that's kind of what we're preparing for, and yeah. spring is going to be cheaper than now. Yeah. And I would say if rack price is cheaper now, yeah. then, I mean, of course, that can all change in right. one night, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, something happens somewhere in the world, right? So, right. But I would say right now, just looking at it, I mean, the rack price right now is what sixty cents cheaper. Yeah. For us to stay the way we are. Gas is higher um, than at the pump, but he's, but he said that's buying Albany that people. He said I'm having yeah. a hard time, and with and he even branched out to get more distributors, but mm -hmm. so yeah, my gut. How reliable that is says so stay with rack, but mm -hmm. I figured well, I'd talk about you're, it. You're trying to predict the future in any case. Announce. A lot of the a lot of the convolution of the energy crises yeah. has subsided mostly. I know we point the finger at certain things, but yeah. most of it was um, you know, there was um, that people don't know is that there was a refinery that had caught fire um, down in the Louisiana area right prior to COVID. Yeah. <clears throat> so oh, I remember it that. reduced our <clears throat> capacity to refine um, certain fuels in the United States. And then very soon after we had COVID, which then right. we reduced that as well with percentage of working forces being able to, to work. Um, and even though energy and gas was a, um, uh, mandated one, you know, you still had a lot of, um, you know, half capacities or whatever. So all that snowballed, and then you had all the other things that had jumped on top of that. And yeah. they had said by by this fall that energy was going to come down anyway, it's just yeah. due to the capacity to start to come back online. Yeah. So, but I mean, again, I mean, it's. I remember. If I could predict that thing, I wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah. So I'd be living high on the hog. <laughs> right, Dave? No doubt. Sorry, I'll let <laughs> so, you. I'll let but you I would say the math this. right now makes sense that we, you know, 60 cents mm -hmm. less on the, yeah. you know, it seems to make that much yeah. sense. Yeah, like so. I said, gas prices are we are. are we empty? When we fill our fuel tank, how much do we buy at a time? Uh, for, I can't, I couldn't answer the question off the top of my head. I'd have to look at an invoice. I don't know. Diesel, we get two deliveries a year. Yeah, I was going to say two. Um, three. Two big deliveries for diesel. But um, as far as heating oil, I... You know, during the year, they keep us topped off, and then I don't remember as far as if we got... It's probably pretty often, yeah, probably once a month or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, heating fuel less, for sure. More. The gas price right now that we're getting charged is exorbitant, but the only one spending it is the constable. So, because um, the fire has very little gas, as does the town. So, mm -hmm. But um, Morgan will most likely, he told me, be getting a diesel delivery I think it's October, and then he's usually good to the spring. So. Yep. Well, that's another good reason to stay with Rack. Yep. All right. I just wanted to 
make, so. makes sense to me. I remember, okay. I remember when the OPEC folk put us in crisis in the a long time ago. 70s, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was in New Hampshire, and yes, yeah, 50 years ago. That's uh, crazy. Price gas went up to a dollar a gallon, and I had people who couldn't afford to go to work. Mm. And then I happened to have to go to Texas or something. Down there, it was 30 cents a gallon. Wow. Yeah. Because that's where the refining is. Sure. sure. Absolutely. And it just made my blood boil. I imagine so. You know. Rightfully so. Um, so the budget, I had, we start with town officials at the top. Um, so I know, well, at least I, these are the price I put in as far as the select board, you guys can decide what you want. Trustees of public funds was, used to just go to one person. Um, the 250 was always just paid to Carol Ketchum because he did everything. Um, so I don't know, we had gone to 600, I don't know if you want to stay at that, as far as 200 each. Um, then health officer, <clears throat> um, I spoke to Chuck Davis and he said in three months he'd spent maybe eight hours, so I just yeah. upped it to 10. And he said that he's gonna keep track of his hours and let Kelly know. Yeah. Um, and then elections, I left the same, obviously. Um, cemetery commissioner, I upped to the price that he agreed on. Uh, fire warden, we'd at 600, but I don't know what you want to do now that you have deputies. So, um, and the FICA Medis calculated based on the, you know, the numbers. So, uh, I know this is something that you want to look at. So, here you go. And I mean, it, and again, until we're able to like see all the departments together, because I mean, mm -hmm. we don't know where we're landing at. Right. Overall total dollar or, or cents per. You know, um, I mean, I guess one thing that I would have here is, you know, I, I obviously would like to see us do as much as we can for the pointed positions that yep. we have available that make sense, mm -hmm. um, you know, before like myself or something like that. I, mm -hmm. That's my feeling on it, but okay. I just, just. Dave disagrees. <laughs> just, well, I'm, just, I'm just thinking like, just try to get people like somewhat yeah, motivated to want to. To do something. To be a part of it and. Um, so but we, can we obviously have, you know, once we see the whole budget, then we'll be able to see yeah. a little more of, All right. can we do more, can we do less, what makes sense? Um, well, it gives you something to think about, I guess. Uh, so oh, we're, what, 1.8 or 1.6 million budget? Yeah. What the hell is not $10,000? Oh, right. I know, I agree. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. so I mean, I guess for now. It, I, I would I, suggest I, to, to start thinking about the, uh, we're going to have deputy fire marshals or fire wardens. Yeah. I mean, the job is still the job. Was is he not able to do the job, so he need the assistance, or is he just needs them because he might not be available? I think it's more of a training. Like it's a, a health issue. Going forward, you know. What, what I'm saying is, if the job is worth $600, I don't care if you got 10 people, they just get 60 bucks. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know what the fire warden does. Oh. So firewood warden burn issues permits. all the burn permits and if there's any um, calls about you know fires or illegal burning, the fire warden has to go um, you know investigate all those. They can take samples. So as samples of someone's burning trash, um, they're the they can go investigate. Um, they can issue um, tickets, <laughs> municipal tickets for someone who's you know burning illegally. Um, but they manage all that good stuff. But chances are not all three of them are going to go anywhere. It's only no, going to be one it, person doing the job. It's, it's, sure. it's the, the fire warden is Gary Kugler. Mm. And, um, but because of circumstances beyond his control, he wanted a couple of deputies so that if he was unable to, we had, the duties were being fulfilled. Do we have any type of like knowledge of how many hours? I can he ask him. I'll send him because I know we're trying to like rebalance that. Yeah, I, mean, I don't want to take away, but I'm just no. I'm I'm spitting out things to think about. Let me. Yeah, he did. That's right. I can email Gary and ask him how many permits he issued. You know, since he's been. I mean, maybe we're 
nowhere near enough money. We, we know we weren't exactly. with Cecil. We're not even, I don't think 1500 is enough. Yeah, and, and he was so, happy, so we... I'll email yeah. Gary and ask him. Um, but I, I would tempt to, you know, to agree with Dave, is if the position is a certain appointed yeah, for rep, you know, then ago. regardless of how big your umbrella is, you know, that would be, you know, if, I don't know, I guess I'd be like if there was an assistant, whatever, select board chair, then right. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know, but maybe it doesn't. But if we've never but, had assistants before, right. we do need the budget for that, don't we? I mean, that was my thought, but I, I don't know. Let me email Gary right. and get some information from him. Um, as to estimate of time, you know, it takes for you, and then you could possibly use the same <clears throat> salary base number that you used for the right. health officer for the fire warden. Um, so I'm let not, me email I'm Gary. Not the I know you're not. I'm just asking the question. I know. No, yeah. the, that's a good question it, to ask. But it's a good one to have. Is <clears throat> if somebody does have deputies or oh, yeah, underneath them, is what are we going to do for that? And, you know, do we keep it as a it's, it's a flat that much for the whole for the, thing, or for the whole, all right. of them. And yeah, well, and let me ask. No, Gary that's a fair question. For definitely. his opinion too, if he's, how does he feel about stipends uh -huh. for his deputy? So he's. Well, you all know Gary. He's great. So we'll ask. Him. I'll ask him if I can. <clears throat> and the tree warden is very new, and I'm not sure at this point that she's been called on to do anything. Um, so um, in the town hall piece, oh, I'm sorry. Did, no, we're good. I don't want to jump too far ahead. So on the town hall piece, you had um, the building repair. You know, more times than not, two a couple of years ago, we had more in the building repair because we were trying to do pieces of the wall. Plus, Something with that. But no, it's a building repair. Nothing so like, is the four thousand dollars for like, building I, repair? Is that? Is that going towards something that we already have planned out, or is that just a, a filler in case we need it? Or it includes um, we pay someone to clean the building. It includes our fifteen hundred dollars from Tasco, and then if there's anything, say something broke and we needed it fixed, you know, if we had to pay for lighting okay. or the uh, furnace, you know, repair that type of thing. I think you originally had six thousand. I think. Something about the clock was budgeted for for a while, but we weren't using the money. Um, it, it's really awful because I'm sure that there's parts of this building that could use repaint or. Well, that's why I was getting at. Like, is this a? It's I had, but it is. Um, a as request you spent, of we got something in mind that we want to do. No, or? this is Tasco yeah. building. As you can see, we spent thirty five hundred last year. We spent thirteen hundred. Um, oh. I, as last year, if I'd updated that number, I think I did. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe I didn't. So again, it's a you we, know, we also had use COVID. it or lose it type. Well, we deal, weren't right? using it either because of COVID. Nobody was using it, so we weren't having to pay somebody to clean it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the. I like to have a little bit of cushion in there just in case, you know, we maybe there's a seal. Oh, actually, no, and there will be because Dave Aldrighetti is going to repair where it was leaking. We had a roof leak, and I had that repaired by. Bob Conniff, I'm actually, he hasn't sent me a bill yet because the sleeve around the um, exhaust on this side had leaked. And so Dave Aldrighetti came in and, and I had him go look at, he's going to go up and repair that. So the 4,000, if he doesn't get to it over the winter, which will come out of our current year budget. But those are the only, that's the only repair I have. And, and then Bob put a new sleeve. I guess in. while we're on the topic is what do we, well, we probably don't have any type of maintenance plan for this building. I'm not that so I'm if aware, something, ask, um, I'll make it up, heating related or something large related, does that come out of the capital reserve yep, fund? Or? We'd probably take it out of the capital building if we didn't have money in this budget. Um, Is the town hall committee still uh, an active committee or no? No. Is, what, what's the status of this building in terms of weatherization? They, when they redid the building, they did not insulate upstairs. Antique. <laughs> because it was well, sourced, they actually did not, when we did another hall in another town, same choice was made because of historical preservation. My understanding is that Bethel accepted historical preservation money, and with that comes caveats. We turn the heat, you know, way down up here, um, but they, I believe that the downstairs may have been insulated. The, I think the downstairs remodeled. is fine. 
And then you had uh, the doors were obviously. And the windows and stuff were re. I don't know if these something. are single pane or reglazed. Um, which they have, but um, but there's certain yeah. things that that you're not allowed to do. It depends on. I don't know the parameters in which you accepted money. But um, a lot of times, it's very difficult to insulate these old buildings and not for the lack of use that they get, I guess, that they, you're not the only town that had made decisions to not do that, uh, to not insulate. I'm just wondering, should we have some sort of... We should have. ...schedule of maintenance for this building yeah. so that all of a sudden we don't get hit with a big bill like... Well, we have a heating system every year we do yep they were just in and inspected and did some repairs um yes we have them inspected and cleaned and maintained every year i'm just wondering so like should we sure. arbitrarily have money like i'll make it up yeah you know ten thousand dollars a year in a fund that well we do have accumulates over time so that we can take care of some of these big purchases when they come around in 10 15 20 years and we do we have a capital building fund and what we don't have i have a slight schedule for it and you guys have seen it before. It was, but does I think it have it was the town hall in it? I, not yet, because yeah, no one had mentioned anything yeah. about well, that, here. But that's that a that good idea, question. because I don't know. I mean, we've taken care of, you know, if we have a new plumber, we hire him, electrician. You know, Dave had done stuff. And then Dave and Paul and Mo, I think all got all the staging in here and placed all the lights. And, and I know it becomes yeah. a more difficult decision than just, okay, we'll go fix that and do that, because yeah. we have to follow it some does. of the preservation a guideline possibly but. yeah i don't i would have to okay. see what you accepted for money i don't nope. know but your answer is no there's no insulation up here <laughs> i would i suggest that we get an energy audit of the building and that we look into what the possibilities are so my question is this, why we we don't hold town meeting here we don't have big meetings here we don't you do you know some people sometimes the meeting space downstairs is used more i really wonder when your payback would ever well, come there's to fruition you know what I mean? because there's going to be boku dollars available to do it that we wouldn't have to pay for it. oh okay that's okay. that's part of the deal okay so uh, the with, first thing is to find out if we well, yeah. I, well, that I, might be the first. Is, I mean, what can we do? We don't know that we can do anything. If we s accepted historical I, yeah, preservation I, money, I don't know what that you may accepted. be why it didn't get done. I don't I know what cannot, you accepted it for. I would like to have that looked at in terms of current, um, the current cultural issues yeah. regarding energy. I can email. Caitlin Corkins at the state, because she does, I think she does the historical preservation program. I could ask her to look back. What did Bethel accept money for? When does that run out? Like maybe sometimes when you get money like that, you can't do something for a few years. But I'll make a note to email Caitlin Corkins and right. ask her and, at the and, state. And, and what's changed? Yeah. Because I, there simply may be changes because of be. everybody and their brother is trying to cut down on. Heating well, I'm assuming I'm, ass plus. I'm assuming some things that can be done without needing any. It would be like I don't even know, but if you know LED lighting it's versus already done. you know what I mean, like that could be something that well, we could do, but I, without needing preservation guidelines. So if that's already in there, that's one thing. But but it might be best to figure out what are our options with the building, like can, what can we do, and then if. If that is well, okay, it, then or, then we could. Or maybe, you know, at least yeah. we need to we need to put our. Well, we, may, we need might to want to think just a into, little bit bigger. Yeah, I can ask her. Gene, and you know, if, rather than just energy audit this building, if we were going to do that, well, do the why wouldn't we do you know the town office all and the, our all the town buildings you know, an energy audit and I mean, which we only have just this and the this in the garage office. I mean, the fire would you really fire energy department? audit? Oh, I wouldn't the fire. I mean the garage is. I wouldn't. Have well, it, no. right, but it, but again, the the last, the last legislature adopted a law that provide or adopted provides funds for communities to do the uh, 
to do the audits, to okay. do the assessments, the Within, feasibility. Right. Was that the one that they passed legislation that said we could borrow money from their energy revolving loan fund? No, the, some of the, a lot of that's going to be grants. Okay. Technical okay. advice, uh, all of that. All and right. it will include energy conversion. Yeah, because I remember the, maybe it was the first iteration of that, because I remember reading about, I'll, I'll email Kate one before again. She, she'll be able yeah. to tell us what Beth will accept money for, what it probably won't be now, and then we'll, we'll find yeah. out. I don't I just, know. But I do think that, it's, that we should be thinking about what what we need. Right. And, and what will be available to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask her because I wasn't here when you redid the town hall, so I don't. I, I just I wouldn't know. either. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm asking the question, yeah. but I can't. I'll find out. Caitlin will tell us. Why you couldn't insulate the attic? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it was in the wall. I'm not really sure. Even even within the walls. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, here but. especially, you have the brick, you know, outside overlay. So I have no idea, but we'll find out. She's. She's excellent. She'll tell us. And so on the that. constable one, it just looks like. In the meantime, you're just trying to manipulate. Yeah, I'm trying to get our budget to be up. kind of similar to an option if we did contract out to like right. Windsor so County. Right. So if you look at the proposed budget FY twenty three four column, you'll see. And then on the that came out to seventy seven two oh eight. And then if you look at the right, that's me saying okay. Here we did the contract. Mm -hmm. Sixty, you know, it's currently sixty hours, sixty cents a mile. So I went to sixty-three an hour, sixty-five cents a mile, because the current sheriff did say that the price might go up. Um, so the the budget that we're in currently, we had priced fifty-seven. Uh, the sign, the boards. Have, have, did we purchase those? The, the fifteen thousand eight hundred. Yeah. No, not yet. I got pricing, and it had gone up quite a bit, and. So I was trying to, so I've got a second quote, it's actually on my desk. And at the same time, we had discussed, I believe, So those boards here, were gonna go replace the? We were gonna get two more boards to go in two different sections of town, like we have by the school and by um, Mascoma drive through We were getting two more of those and a portable speed cart. And the portable speed cart price, when we quoted it, had been like 8,800, and now it was close to 10 grand. Okay. So I was looking so at what, so this this fifteen that's in this budget. What is that one for? Well, it would be. I was hoping to purchase a couple more of those, um, you know, signs. And I don't remember if it was. You'll have to. I don't remember if it was here at the select board meeting, or if I was at a better connections meeting. But we talked about. I feel like it was here, but we talked about. Those kind of speed bumps, slowing people down on Main Street. Um, those um, was that well, here? Lindley was talking about how okay. it was in Jericho that the yeah, downtown so, has. So I also speed bumps was just reached out to a vendor to get pricing about that. So well, that can just be done by a pavement outfit. Well, these are actually um, permanent or rubber not? and rubberized, and I don't think so you take them off in the winter. I think that you could. I was I got the information, oh. and so it's on a stack on my desk, oh. but. We need more of the speed signs. We only have a couple, and we talked about doing, you know, multiple entries in different places throughout town. So, so. the, just take, I'm just trying to wrap. My head and around. oh, so, signage too. We also have to replace some other signs. So I was just, I just threw it in as a placeholder. So unless I, I didn't missed want to take it, less. so I, I think our goal, our goal was to have some sort of speed signage on the four legs of the yep. village, right? <clears throat> right, and, and we only we, have it on we, two. And we currently had two, right? Mm -hmm. And the two that we have in the budget right now was to finish the four Village. legs, right? Right. But then we talked about doing, you know, more in places like on Church Street and different places where people were speeding more kind of to slow them down as they entered the village. Or, I mean, we don't have one at the entrance of River Street. We, you know, things like that. And we have one when you get to the drive through but we don't have one, say, before the town office. But I, honestly, I put it in as a placeholder because I don't know okay. what's coming out of better connections. That's fine. I mean, it's I just, I was always, just curious of what that yeah, was so in there for. So we can look at it, but, and I'm still getting pricing. So the, the piece, the 15.8 that we had budgeted, yep. and what would you say approximately? Speed cart. The, 
the hardware is going to cost now? About it's obviously going to be over more. Right? Yeah, a little more right now. I was kind of waiting to see if I could find a different vendor right. for the speed car because it was 8,800 and it went up to about almost 10. 10 and then and then that was just for the speed car. Right? right, and, and that, that didn't That wasn't for the other two. The other two signs. Those are normally like five or six grand, right? Yeah, well, I think we got them for... I think we got them for under. Well, we got a pair last year for like the four sixty. Or 5, 000, no? We got them last year for the sixty-eight twenty-four. I think that was so. Right much. now, yeah, we're over. the fifteen eight is more like seventeen thousand or something. I know. Oh, okay, all right. But I mean, it's not to... like we don't have the money in the budget because the constable's not going to spend his the goal hours. Yes, yeah. but I was no, also... I was just trying to figure out what what yeah. more we had. So no, and I so I found a second Yikes. vendor. For the speed car um and i was gonna ask oscar or morgan if they had an opinion about you know either one so so just change if we could find it and then so so if so if we ended up going to an option of let's say windsor. the windsor county mm -hmm. we would have to find animal control so that yep. would at that point i guess we would have to think would that be an appointed position, or would we hire that out, or how how would we you could, do that? You could appoint a dog warden, or you could hire them. I mean, and then I'm because just some thinking. places in the state had companies that did that. I looked through the VLCT salary survey to come mm. up with the nineteen dollars, nineteen fifty an oh, hour, okay. and the thirty hours a week. I came up with using how many animal calls Oscar had responded to, and then assigned them two hours each. Just as a okay. Well, I was just kind of looking at like make it up fire warden, thinking that maybe yep. the animal control person, the fire warden, would have similar time yep. out and about. Yep. So one's a thousand, where one's well, but five hundred. So that the thousand was for three people. This oh, was gotcha. for one that's person. Right. Yep. Gotcha. No, I'm just well, okay. But that and that's what I said. My that's I mean I'm just guesstimating at yeah, the animal no. control. But that's how we how I did. I had Kelly look at how many calls Oscar had in a year. The bottom line on those, I, I see, I don't see enough difference between 77 and 79,000 to, to justify the lack of service we're now getting. Right, <laughs> and, and if you look at mine, I yeah, but the, say 20 the 77 is a pipe dream, though. Like, yeah. that would be like, that, that would be like, if Oscar I, and Justin were able to devote that exact time we want right now, right? Yeah. But that's what we yeah. said we want. Mm -hmm. That's the service we want. And also, and too, yeah. So, but I think I'm we're just, really making a jump from 57 to 76, right? Yeah, because I... It's about $20,000 jump is what we're but, proposing. Because I budgeted 20 hours a week at 25 an hour, which is more than the constables are making now, but we know right. the competition is high. But currently, the two guys do not receive retirement, so I did budget the 5800 for retirement just because uh. I wasn't sure. Um, you know, it depended where the person worked. And then I also said, okay, if we had a new officer, then I uh. doubled the uniform budget, I doubled the gas. Okay. Um, I doubled the equipment because we get to take advantage of the fact that they work for other agencies, so they maybe have their own tasers, have right. their own stuff. So, but it's kind of a guesstimate. Mm -hmm. um, right. And the odds that we find someone to work the 20 hours are probably. Well, I'm just. Yeah. But you're right. But I'm, They're but negligible. I was surprised. If we, if we project out what we might reasonably be looking for. Yeah. This is the number. Regardless of what we've been spending, if we're going to increase that pay, we're talking ballpark. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Yeah. Well, everybody I've talked to, well, in law enforcement said, you know, 80 to 100,000. Yeah. Like, to have a person on duty to do what what we typically do in so today's this is, current this is climate. right there, right in yeah. the ballpark, yeah. either, either yeah. way. And, and I think our thing is really more numbers right now not so much what our policing is going to be because we don't know all of our options yet you know what i mean like like we don't know what's going to happen at the sheriff's department until after the yeah, the november election you know they could get a new sheriff or there could be a different direction or 
Yep. Um, but if we can get a, a number that yeah, I mean, makes sense that we can go one way or the other and still, you know. Yeah, you could build your budget around 80,000. Yeah. And the challenge we're going to have is if we go with the voters with, I think anyways, if the challenge is if we go with the voters with 77, 79,000 versus the 50 some odd thousand. Yeah. I don't know though, because the majority you know, you of the may, responders wanted an increase in police to that. I know, but we so. haven't definitely given, you know, no, I know that I'm decision saying. hasn't been made. You know right. what I mean? No, so it's, I know. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Yeah, no, myself, I'm just, so. I'm, it, you know So what? if we did go up and we what go else? to town meeting and they say, well, well the increase is for, <laughs> you know, and we can't say at that point, well, <laughs> we're definitely going this route. It could, you know, instead we're saying, well, we we're, we're thinking hire. about either filling it in with, you know, Windsor County or if we can hire a person, you know, to do yeah, you're still the full the duties, same price you know. range. Yeah. And obviously we can get into all the details after that, but. Yeah, and it's interesting too because I, I think I told you outlined in the town, the, the report where they went with the packet was that, you know, the Oscar obviously will take some call, answer some phone calls, things like mm. that, which the sheriff's office won't do. And they have very specific um, hours in which they patrol. I did ask the current sheriff if he'd be willing to do some nights um, because, you right. know, we have a bar in town and uh, activities in the evening at times, and he said they might, but I think he kind of leaves that up to uh -huh. basically the, who's the deputy. See who of course, if we did go the, the Windsor County, let's say, then we would have to talk about, you know, what do we want to do with the equipment that we have do we want to keep it, sell it, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, I guess sell it because you wouldn't want it at that sharing. point. They might be wanting you know, to buy it. But. It's a, yeah, sit in the garage and rot. Exactly. Um, and too, as you know, as we talk about or heaven, there's a transfer of liability as well. You know, the thing is once mm -hmm. the, right. the, and overhead and, and yeah, and professional HR. liability and training and there's some new stuff coming yeah. out from the criminal justice training council. And, you know, right now we assume we, we are lucky because we know that the Rutland County Sheriff's Office and the Royalton and Royalton Police Department are making sure the officers are trained and meeting those. If we hire someone that worked for us solely, we have to make sure that they are adhering to all these things. And, yeah, they're and, so short. Like, exactly. We can't even find them to go on the road to do patrols with us right now. Yeah. I mean, we have a night job going right now with no blue lights that normally, you, it's, it's not mandatory, but you... Yeah. Blue lights at night. You know. Sure. No, and and uh, that is one thing can't, that the, can't get them. That the current sheriff said was that you know they're busy times as as for Windsor County that they're trying to pick up. Yeah. You know as much because the when we pay county tax it doesn't include the cost of the sheriff's office. Mm -hmm. So it was yeah. an interesting conversation. Anyways, so um, so that's how I got to those numbers. Um, and very very helpful. Good jumping off point. Well, well I, I'm like. <laughs> Shock and awe. Yeah, well, that's it. You know, and it, it kind of is, yeah. you know, when you look at it. It's a little scary. But um, anyway, so we'll see. We'll leave them in there and see what it all looks like, how ugly it is when I pull it together. Um, so heating oil options, we did that, did that. So that little snippet that I sent you, so that, um, what was that? Was it from Sanders' office or yes. Welch's office or yep. something? Saying Sanders, I think. Saying so the, second, the second installment inst of our ARPA. Well, money. they didn't mention installment. It was I like, know. It was big. Like the second one is coming. And I'm yeah. like, what? We're getting more? Or is yeah. that? It's just so that was stuff that we had already gotten. So that, yep. It's part of this. So one. our 583 was one and two. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yep. Because we knew we were going to. We like, knew we are. No, you did. Yeah. You were like, I know. Like, I know. But the way they in the article I read, right. they phrased it as though like there's more money coming. I'm I like, know. I felt a little bad. So when I'm I thinking, had to tell you. Teresa, we get more money. <laughs> You're like, exactly. So. Um, okay. So no. So um, yeah, no. Sorry. I and then, hey, remember, have you gotten any more warm and fuzzies on what, like, with some of this money that we have left, like? Can we use it as match money towards? I did. A I, federal. I did do that. Grant yes. or something or. So I talked to. Um, or earmark money. Or, right. I wrote. Well, I, I wrote to um, the program managers that we had for the grants that we have. So we can use it as match for pretty much all of our VTrans. I wasn't sure about like the bike ped grant, so I put it on that spreadsheet, which you don't have. But um, so the VTrans uh, grants. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Um, we. But you don't know about the PED one. No, we kid. Yeah, he emailed me. Oh, that. you can. Yep, by okay. PED. I talked to V Trans. Um, some of the grants too on that list, we'd already paid the match for. Um, like better connections, we'd already paid the match right. for out of budget. Um, a couple of them we'd already paid. Um, the better roads grants, we can use. Um, we can use the ARPA for match. So. So the only one, the only question mark would be the earmarked we, money, right? Right. We cannot the use the match for. Um, I don't believe we'll be able to use the match. For. FEMA for our ERAF, but. Right. I need so no, to ask. I have to ask Kim Kanarecki. No ERAF. I don't think so, but I don't know for sure. Um, and then the question mark is on the earmark one. Well, we had um, the earmark match. I'm hoping to make up out of our state. It, when we get the state money um, from them, the portion of that is federal, so they don't allow us to. Some of it is 100%. Some of it's like 75%. So we, I think that we'll be able to be pretty close in covering our match for this earmark with state funds. Okay. So, because I did ask permission. Uh, you and it know, sounds about like that, we wouldn't. But and it sounds like we wouldn't want to use that match towards towards the next water phase because that may put us in yeah. a different it'll it will category lose. for. Yeah, we funding won't, and stuff. We right? won't get any aid. So I was waiting. The auditors are coming next month. I wrote to Sarah Macy at VLCT and asked her um, about the ARPA money because one of the things that they were telling you you could do is basically accept, pay off your highway budget or pay off, you know, funds, and then you would keep this money as a surplus. So since it's income replacement, then you could use it for anything you wanted. I wrote to her and said, look, I, we deposited it in the general fund. I just tracked it separately in another fund. So I asked her a two-part question. She only answered one part, which basically what we could really do to just clean the whole thing up is put it on the morning in March and say, we have X amount of dollars left. This is what the select board wants to use it for and just let everybody vote on it. So I am waiting for an answer, a second, an answer to the second part of my question from Sarah or to ask the auditors because last time I talked to him, when Rick came in July, they were waiting on some guidance from the feds. Well, I think, I think the feds don't even know what to use the money yeah. towards. Well, you know, my concern kind of got rolled out faster. The other thing than is, or we just take this $416,000, we decide whatever, we're going to dump it into the roads and or pay up. If we do that, then when we put everything out to bid, we're still going through the RFP process. So we've adhered to all the regulations and the strings that could have come attached to it. So um, I guess, what's your plan? Are you thinking about holding it and just paying all the match and not doing extra work? No, I'm just trying to get my head around what all of our options are. Yeah. And, One then, of them. and then again, like, I, what, how do we best position that money? <laughs> Excuse me. Again, like, we wouldn't want to put it towards something and lose potential funding yeah, because we got put in a different category or it, level or it's something. It's true. Well, but and we've had plenty of you know public input. I mean, a lot of people were very upset last year. After I, mean, I, I think we need to put it into the roads. It's going to put us ahead of the game, and we could bid contracts. But I'm not talking about like FEMA repairs where we were just going in and fixing the damage. I'm talking find segments of roads that are really bad in doing a rebuild from under drain up, just like we're gonna do on Christian Hill as part of the paving grant um, with the remaining. Exactly. And not Oxbow, but you know, look No, no, at, right, just blow my house. Right, I'm saying pick, you when know, they gray, they well scrape pledge. roads, yeah. And that's, uh, that's, you know, still my belief is that, you know, we've, we've had this on every agenda and, um, so I'll have more guidance from you for that, but you, we had talked about making a decision in September, um, but you could decide that you just are going to put it on town meeting and make a decision then. I, I don't, I don't kind of want to wait that long just because I want to get everything out to, if we're going to do road work, I want to get it out to bid. 
sooner. But I, w I really want to keep some of it, and maybe a good, pretty good hunk for the uh, better connections thing. Well, remember, you, we, first of all, we have no idea exactly what, I, we've been told that Better Connections were going to be able to qualify for more grant money or get, be, get more points, so we will qualify for more grants or put us in a better position. At first it was we're going to get more grants. Now as we get more points, we don't know what's coming out of that. You have to have the money obligated by, what, 2024. Um, and you know, some of that stuff that's gonna come out of Better Connections are ideas. They're not like fully flushed out plans. And um, so I don't know, I mean, and then they just extended the grant. So I'm not sure we're gonna even have answers um, by town meeting. So I, I don't know, I will have to, I'll have to ask our next Better Connections meeting because they just did an extension. And we can only, Hold it, you know. For that some. was the meeting that I missed. Yeah. I, I personally think we've got a bunch of stuff that we've let go. I think so. That needs to be caught up. I mean, uh, not against the better connections, of but not. you want to move forward, but you haven't fixed what's behind you yet. Yeah. And I, I tell you, we have, we have, we are drastically, horribly bad on taking care of our roads. Mm -hmm. And if we could put it out, you know, we and it, everybody else. I, I didn't. I didn't say. I didn't say it wasn't everybody else. But I, I think and my, we, we my got buses on uh, on these roads with kids in the winter, and their their drivers are people who are used to driving their little Prius, and they throw them in a bus. I think my only suggestion would be is I'm game for. Wherever we put the money, other than I wouldn't want to see it be put into something that's going to revolve yearly. So, like, I wouldn't want to see us create a new position. No, I mean, or yeah, something like no, that. That then I agree with that. Make it up two or three years down the road. Now you have to make a decision. You know, yes. the money's dried up. Are you going to keep the position, or are you going right. to increase your tax base? Right. Right. For that, so I I would wouldn't make any suggestions on anything that's going to be. No. Ongoing. That's um, why you made a good choice on like the like generator. a one time or the generator a match or something the pumps, like that. You That's got your forty right. years so that those sewer rates didn't go up. So right. Okay. But anyways, I will. Um, so anyways, we. I'm just still waiting for an email from Sarah Macy to answer my second question. But right. um, so what's on the agenda? It'll be on again for next time. Anything left on the manager's report that we didn't get to? I don't know. Um, let's see. That all you did. Oh, yes, we have to talk about the shooting range. Um, so Dave Griffin, God bless him, is did a great job, but he was done as of September 1. Mm -hmm. He brought in the $700 that they'd collected, we put that in the general fund, mm -hmm. but we currently have no volunteers to oversee it. I gave you a sample of the sign that I'm having um, made mm -hmm. to put down there um, to and um, we put out a front porch forum and Facebook post. Obviously, Rebecca um, Sanborn Stone had emailed us some information that came out um, during you know, another process. Uh, so she got some information, I think, from Better Connections, which was helpful. Um, so, so how many trips does one have to make over there before they become like the defaulted yeah. foreman? Because yeah, I've made I three in like a week and a half. Every time I hear bang, bang, I. I drive over, and yeah. one time I got there, nobody was there. Yeah. And then, and then two times, I, uh, one gentleman that um, that I know that uses the range often, that's really good about he was there. everything. And the other one was somebody that had been here visiting family and was taking advantage of the range. That kind of had to just go over the. So did you know, the gentleman the who of, is normally there was. Did he interested in being on? Uh, well, they all say, well, I don't know. Let me yeah, think about it. I know. Right? And I, I think if it like, wasn't, uh, you know, we were spoiled. So I've run over what there anytime Dick I hear Adams something going is, on now yeah. if I'm available. But What um, Dick Adams did was amazing. He yeah. devoted his whole day. I mean, every day. If he heard it, he yeah. was down there. And we're not going to find that. So my hope is if we could find a few people so somebody could take one day and one another and it wasn't such a burden and, you know would be nice so yeah. uh, but so far 
We've had a couple people call. We've answered some questions, and they haven't called back. And I saw some of the front porch, front porch forum pieces. Yeah. And, you know, I trying to get it up. I mean, I, and that, yeah. I mean, without opening the whole can all over again, it's. Yeah. I think ideally, even before whatever it was, seven years ago, when we talked about this. Um, you know, ideally, if we had a nice piece of property outside of town, mm -hmm. would be where we'd like to do it. And I think we've all understand that we don't have that piece of property. Right. And the safest, best available piece that we do have is the current piece that we're at. Right. Um, because the other thought, too, was the concern of if we closed it down, then people will, be not, they're not going to stop, right. you know, target practicing and things. They're going to go off and be more up to be at home where maybe it's not as a safe of a place or those were kind of the arguments before. Um, and then we had, you know, we had one gentleman that was, you know, that you may not find again that, you know, took, took care of that I place, know. you know, nice. um, and you didn't have to worry about it. So, I, I mean, I don't yeah. So I don't know. So we'll see. I see the pros and cons to it. I mean, I know. there's it's hard because it's bad to everything. And I'm just figuring, you know what, if it's vandalized again, eventually yeah. somebody's going to call and, and tell us that, you know, because Skip and Dave repaired it. So it was yeah. everything was in good. But this has been left. And I typically, you know, most time. So in two weeks, I've been over there three times and I heard gun shooting. And that was it. That, I've only heard three times yeah. in two weeks. I mean, I hear it all the time just because my window's open yeah. and I can hear it. But, so we're going to put the signs down there in hopes that, you know, one where the rules are in the kiosk and one on the gate when you walk in. Um, you know, people ignore the no shotgun, but hopefully maybe they'll read this one um, and see. I don't know. It's, it's just... We are entering the high, high I usage... Know. Time because of the year. Well, the people thing, are going to be sighting in for rifle season. I, I mean, I know this opens up a whole other other can of worms, but when I was over there the other day, I got thinking, man, you know, with all the technology that we have, like, couldn't we just, like at my house, like have those little Arlo cameras that I can go on my phone and I can look at them right now, like, at home, you know? Well, like, couldn't you just put a little camera up there? We can that put one across. Kind of looks at the range at least, so that I'll just make it up that. It, and you can have it so that it can be cloud-based, so you could have a couple of people in your community that have access to that. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So you don't have to necessarily drive over there, you know. Yeah, I To go on and to... look to see what was going on, or, yeah. or they, you know, they do record, you know, yeah. once there's a movement, they do record. So if there was an incident, you can go back through and look. But then I know it gets under, like surveillance and well, things like that. And I think how, we could because but. we put signs up saying the cameras, but there's not a great place there. We've obviously tried other places in town and people, you know, take mm. them, shoot them out. But I did talk to Richard about putting one on the water, on the pumps, you know, uh, well house right there because they have Wi-Fi, they have electric, they have, so you could at least get the comings and going so you could get mm. plate numbers and see people and you know so if it was vandalized we could get ideally mm. for a time frame with you know vehicles yeah, coming and going they but don't cost a as lot far of money as placing anymore. them there i mean you're just asking for people to shoot them out yeah, on the range but across the street we have power and wi-fi mm. no i just had one that when i drove over a few times so i don't know dave's uh, thinking about being the if you're going to be that far away, you're going to have a very expensive camera to do what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, and number two, <laughs> these, uh, I'm probably very, very pessimistic, but someone's going to know that they're, and they're going to start shooting at the water place. Yeah, instead of the other. Which yeah. is shooting towards town. Yeah, because we did talk and about And I'm thinking that's cameras. maybe not a good idea either. Yeah. I know. It, it's just it's, about... it, that That whole thing is... I mean, to be honest with you, what you do is you do what uh, the place up in Ma uh, Waterbury did. You have an indoor shooting range that is yeah. manned five days a week or six it's days a week. Is it a business or is it run by the state? <clears throat> it's a business. Nice, yeah. And, and you're, I think you're starting to see a few of those popping up. 
think rumor had it there was one going in somewhere in the Upper Valley area. Um, but the thing that always, like, when I hear shooting down at the pit here, I don't ever, nothing ever comes to my mind like bells and alarms. Mm -hmm. But I do have somebody that has taken an interest of shooting on North Main Street. Mm -hmm. And I know because I drove by that residence that the only way they're shooting is my way. So oh. when I hear them going, then I'm thinking... They're not I shooting mean, into a bank or anything. You know, and, that, and that's the fear that I have is, yes. you know, even though it's, I don't know, make it up three quarters of a mile from my house to that residence, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of an unsafe act. But where the sand pit, at least, there can always be that one person yeah. or two people that don't obey the rules of just being um, gun owners, but mm -hmm. majority of people, when you do go there, you do see that they're safe practices. Mm -hmm. They might need uh, education on some of the rules of our yeah. establishment, but... Um, so, I don't know. So, for right now, I guess we're just, you know, we're... People are checking out as they can, and we're still looking for people. So, it's been on Trumpet Forum and Facebook, and... Um, you know, we're having signs made, so hopefully you can get it. So, um, the only thing I had is, did you get my email with my contract? Yeah. Okay, we need to talk about that. So, if I just ignore it, then we're all good, right? <laughs> Remember. Well, I just wasn't sure what you right? wanted to do. Is that the way it works? What I asked was if you wanted to do... if you Just removes automatically, right? I don't think it says that, no. <laughs> no I just wondered if... You yeah, you said it, October. It, yeah, I had forgot. I came September 18th or, 18th or something. Or 15th yeah, but I just... Or something. Yeah, so I just wasn't sure if you wanted it sent to the town attorney, just in case you thought something had changed or whatever. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I just want to, like, make sure you got the email. How about a key card? I think... For the... To, right, to get in, to yeah. Access. I think we would... It would maybe difficult. I don't know about... You'd have to fence that entire... Have you been there? There's no fence. There's only like that little gate. gate. I mean, that you can you walk can around if you want walk to. Around, but there's no fence to delineate um, that yeah. goes around the um, pit. There's, I mean, there's so, a gate, but be, you can you could get in there. Because if you want a chain link, that'd be some pricey. And I'm not, frankly, I'm not sure you can because it's sand. I don't even know how you'd anchor. It's pretty steep up to the. And I don't know if we could. I have an email into A and R about the pit as it is. So. I don't know. Outside the fence? Outside the gate? Yeah, yeah some people. I mean, yeah. I, you know, I don't know. But the majority the, of the people I've seen over there have thing about a key card been is pretty it responsible. It tells you who is going in. It gives you a time that they were there. Right. Uh, and it gives you a place to start. Sure, we would just, if I'm just saying, we have, it's not right, fenced. Right. So we would have to completely contain it somehow. Um, mm -hmm. If you haven't been there, drive over and, and you can pull in and walk out, and then you can kind of get the topography is tricky. I'm not saying it can't be done. No, I, no, I, it's I, interesting. And, yeah, I'm just trying to think of. No, a, no, I don't think I. No. A, that may be better than a camera. Yeah. In terms of who's there and who isn't. Right. Yeah, I'm hoping whoever was got that out of their system handle it. So we'll see. But you're right. I mean, and you're going to see. Certainly, responsible gun owners are going to be there sighting and rifles, so that also may discourage mm -hmm. because hunting season, you know, people are going to start soon yeah. sighting and rifles. So, so how do we want to do the contract piece of it? Should we put something on the agenda for next meeting for no, executive session? No, we should do it in October. I think we should do it in. I know, but our next meeting is the 26th, right? I know, but I'm not going to have had a chance to go through it to read it again and. I think you and I could talk about well, don't it. Don't worry, we all said. Like, I'm fine. <laughs> so maybe we should just have a conversation next week about it and sit down and look at it together and see. And then certainly, as is your right, as I said to you, is if you want to send it to the town attorney, I can give you his name and you can do that. So if you want someone else to look at it, I don't think anything has changed. I think we're really just looking at the time frame and the possibility of changing the notification from 90 days to something else. Right. So, but I, mean, or, or, or I figure we years. can handle it. Or, yeah. we, or we could, you know, <laughs> we could put it on the, the agenda for maybe, 
you know, a motion to allow myself to negotiate with you okay. to, for a contract or something like that sure. or whatever. All right. I just want okay, to have time. If we're going to be part of the conversation, I would like to see the contract sometime before well, of I'm asked to yeah. discuss it. Yeah. We, and I think what we've, remember. overall what we've talked about is more of a year-to-year a -year contract rather yeah, than... Yeah, or two year. I, yeah. Typically it's a three-year contract, It Jean. was. Um, but three years means what? Like... Nothing. I can still give you 90 at, days notice any, any point time. you give us 90, or, or in the past, or, you know... Next to the, the last town um, manager we had, you know... It um, last three years, but yeah. So I'll ask. So we we're talking about doing a yearly, a yearly um, one. Yeah, and it may be like eighteen months. We got to kind of figure that notification out because I mean, obviously, right now it's ninety yeah. days, and so we'll, we'll look three at the years time notification. Right? Right? Yeah, exactly. Three years. But, That's what so did, <laughs> with I'm, a one-year contract. I'm, yeah. So did, get locked did in. <laughs> You were, t you were already on the select board ranking, so I would assume you guys all have the original contract, but I'll send it to you. If I, I do... I have the one that you and I signed. Yeah. If I, I do, I probably would take me longer to find okay. it. Okay. I'll, I'll make sure you have it. Okay. And I'll put that on I, the I, next agenda. Send the school board paperwork was like this high, but this is only this high. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So I'm all set with the time manager. Okay. Uh, select board meeting minutes from the 22nd. Any, any changes to them, or we, or if not, a motion to approve. Move, move to approve as printed. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Sorry, I lost my spot here. Yeah, me too. Um, are there communications of some pool statistics that was in there? Yep. Um, we did have, um, I just wanted to just make sure, I'm not going to go into depth with it, but um, we, we had talked about the last, or I had brought up the last board meeting about the, um, more specifically, the ADA accessibility on Church Street with vehicles parking on the sidewalk. So, um, so Therese, in, Therese in the office had sent out um, some information to um, the local church. well I'll say the churches because there's no businesses on that street I'm just you know talking to people about uh, not blocking the sidewalk and and um, you know let's try to keep the cars off it and so we, we did receive one one um, communication back which I think the individual might have been slightly confused on why we had issued it so it, it more went into like uh, this person went into more of a, the harm that it would do to the sidewalk, um, which there's harm that is done to it. Um, but more specifically, we had asked it was to clear it, to give the option, like I saw that day, you know, you had people parked on the sidewalk and then you had a person in a motorized um, wheelchair that was having to go down the street rather than on the sidewalk. So right. that was just so that we have that cleared up. That was the and it said that the reason the for it. And we had addressed that bit, it yeah. also deteriorates the sidewalk. And yes, we understand that plowing the sidewalks, there's times where the blade sinks in and there's, mm. there's wear and tear to that too. Understand that. But the biggest thing was the ADA compliance piece. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, so hopefully anybody that is able to watch the meeting or get the notes, they can uh, maybe if we, you know, maybe in the um, the minutes, if we can make that piece a little bit more detailed, that it was more sure. the ADA compliance piece, mm -hmm. um, so that everybody knows. It sounds like a lot of people didn't understand that. So, With one person. Right. so <laughs> other than that, uh, and Teresa had, uh, sent us the post there, the legal notice of the. Oh, the way I put it, that was oh, the, the cemetery rule. That the cemetery rules yep. changed, and we put an ad in saying they had to be. And out by I September had 11. I had the question there, the follow up, but Brian had hit it on the flower how yep. that went. So it yep. sounds Cecil like was good. Yeah. sounds like it was favorable. It so, was favorable. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Anything else to come before the board? No. All right. Just need a. Motion to adjourn. So moved. All in 
favor? Right. Good night, everybody. Good night, Ellie. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it sounds like that's a, that was a good win-win with the, with the um, artificial flowers, it seemed like. Yeah. If, if individuals did go out of their way to make sure they were picked up, I mean, you're going to have those yeah. couple that maybe well, like he thought came maybe up out of on town. Memorial exactly. Day that left and didn't come back, but yeah. it sounded pretty favorable. So mm -hmm. that's good. Worked through that. So. So we had, you heard, did you hear him? Oh, good. I wasn't sure. I was like,